the FMS Reflex Gyro that comes in their PNP RC airplanes. The Reflex Gyro system is similar to Spectrum's AS3X and Safe Select. The FMS Reflex has three different flight modes. One flight mode will be zero help. It doesn't help for wind and it doesn't help for keeping the plane level. The other flight mode is stabilized. That mode keeps the plane level for the pitch and the roll and it also has some other features like takeoff assistance and stuff like that. And then the third flight mode is optimized and that is to help with gust of wind. It does not level the plane but as you're flying and a gust of wind blows the right wing up then the system is going to automatically lower the wing down. That happens real fast so you see your plane flying smooth that's the optimize kicking in and doing its job. So let's uh, set up the reflex to a spectrum transmitter just like you might want to and we'll follow the directions it'll uh, be real easy I'll show you guys some good close-ups, and, uh, and it'll, it'll b -b -b all make sense. And it'll answer a bunch of your guys' questions from my previous video. So this is going to be kind of an answer the questions and connect the uh, reflex system again. So, hey, I'm Sean, Griffin RC Planes. Sit tight. <laughs>
Carbon Cub or the Habu, the other ready to flies that come with this flight controller. Now, I've already tried to plug this into the reflex, it doesn't work. The good thing about buying a FMS plane that comes with a reflex and you already have a spectrum transmitter is you can buy dirt cheap receivers and operate the reflex. And now you're using your spectrum transmitter that you like and you're flying your new. FMS plane, and you have the stabilization, optimization, and gyro off mode. This tiny Spectrum DSMX receiver is an AR610. There is no, no stabilization, no safe, no nothing. This is the bare bones, bottom of the barrel does nothing but control servos from your transmitter you can pick these up on ebay for probably ten dollars or less and that's what we're going to connect the reflex to in this video using a nx6 and the nx6 is going to be the same principle as the dx6 the dx6e the dx8 your nx6 nx8 generation one two three it's all going to be the same principle and basically the same settings. So let's look at the directions on the, the directions for the FMS reflex. You will probably have a manual just like uh, this one right here. There's a couple different ways to set up the receiver. We are gonna be using this diagram on the bottom. Number two, PW. M. And what it says is connect the throttle and flight surface channels to their corresponding ports on the reflex system. Connect a three wire cable from the channel that is controlled by your three position switch to the port labeled S bus PPM to control the gyro mode. So, aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, and then we're going to use the gear switch to control the flight modes. First, we need to grab our transmitter. I got the NX6 out. We're going to cr create a new model. We are going to go from this model right here to system setup model select and we want to get just a blank model model type we're just going to have a basic plane we'll name it uh, We'll just remember it started with a big letter A. And aircraft type, wing normal, right? We're gonna go with normal and a normal tail. And leave all this inhibited. Do not do anything with the flight mode, but what we are looking for is very important, channel assign. So you can see that the throttle Aileron, elevator, and rudder all have NA next to them, so they're not available. They're already spoken for by the model that we chose and the wing type that we chose. So now, RX port assignments. This is receiver port assignments. This is what we're going to connect our reflex from. Okay, so number one channel on our receiver is throttle. Number two, aileron. Three elevator, four rudder, five is gear. So that is how we're going to connect the receiver to the reflex. Very, very, very important.
and then I'm going to go to the monitor screen real quick. And I just gave it throttle. We saw the throttle work. Move the aliens. They worked. Elevator worked. Rudder worked. Now I'm going to flip my gear switch. And we can see it's going from 100 to negative 100. So there's the channels that we want to work for the reflex. What you're looking at here is my one of a kind demo RC airplane, which is awesome for things like this. I've mounted the reflex identical to how it's mounted in this 1220 millimeter Ranger. So let's connect it to our receiver, which is right there. Real quick with the directions one more time, our receiver is here where I'm pointing and we're going to connect the receiver to the reflex and then the reflex controls the control surfaces. We looked at our transmitter, our transmitter told us the RX port assignments, which happens to be the same as what's written on this receiver right here. One more time with the directions. Our receiver is here, which is mounted right here. And we're going to connect the receiver to the reflex just like that. And you can see at the very top, be number one, says the alien channel. So number one on the top up here. It's also labeled aliens. And we plug that into channel two on the receiver, just like the transmitter told us to. And then looking back at the directions, number two is the elevator. It can get a little confusing, but as long as you follow the directions to a T, it's good. Also labeled elevator. All right, next one down is the throttle. Throttle on our receiver and according to the transmitter is number one. The fourth one down is rudder, also on the directions. rudder so we'll hook the rudder into channel four and then we have our channel five also known as the gear switch that we're going to plug into s bus ppm mode where we can change the flight modes from our transmitter and that goes into channel five now, if you had a, if, if this was a real radio controlled plane, we'd have a speed control and we can't plug the speed control into the receiver. It doesn't go there. The speed control gets plugged into to the reflex. Okay. And just to, on this left hand side here, this is where the control surfaces are the aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder. So if this was in your plane, the throttle would go into the third, but these are already connected in your PNP airplane. For demonstration purposes, this servo right here with the little blue flag is gonna represent our throttle. I'm just putting a, a extension on here right now. And that will go into throttle, which is the third one down. It's in your airplane. It's already plugged up. And then we have the aileron elevator. Already got the throttle and the rudder. I grabbed a couple more extensions. So we have our aliens to connect. They go in the number one spot all the way at the top. The next is elevator. Now keep in mind, all this stuff is already connected in your PMP airplane
and then rudder. So everything we just did on the left hand side of the reflex is already connected in your PNP airplane. So we just connected everything that's on the right hand side, which leads to your receiver. So let's bind this up and see it uh, in action. All right, we got our transmitter. I'm going to turn it on and get it into the bind mode. So there's our plane, the started with the letter A. There's bind. I got a bind plug. I'm going to power, I'm powering the receiver with a little battery pack. So in your imagination, we're going to plug up the battery to the airplane in a second. Bind plug is installed. Airplane is turned on and binding. No. All right, so the airplane did, did a little twitching right there. I'm going to take the bind plug out so we don't uh, forget. You don't ever want to leave the bind plug in there. So the direction said something about this light. See, we got a little red light on the reflex right there. So our LED is on. So let's grab our transmitter and the gear switch is right here. And we're going to flip it right now. And the LED is flashing. Let's look at our at our legend again. And it says gyro LED flashes slowly, gyro off. LED flashes rapidly, rapidly, we're in optimize mode. So I'm going to call that uh, optimize. Now, this is a two position switch, so we only have two choices. This is a three position switch. Let's change it real quick so we can have all three choices. I'm going to turn off the plane real quick. And we'll just start from the beginning here. This is system setup. Yep. Model select. There's our model. Let's start with the A. And we're going to go down to channel assign. Gear channel is now set to A. And this is switch A. Right there. This switch right here is B, and it's a three position switch. So, right now, gear is on A, and we'll just change it to B. All right, so now let's fire up our airplane and see what the LED looks like this go around. We've got to let it uh, bind up. All right, so we have a, uh, I don't know if that's a rapid or a slow. So I'm gonna take our three position switch and I pushed it all the way forward. It was there, I went all the way forward. LED is on. If I go back one time, LED is flashing rapidly. Let's go all the way back. That is rapidly. Okay, so all the way back is rapid. In the middle is slow. Forward is constantly on. Back to the legend real quick. 
gyro LED on, stabilize mode. Flash slowly, gyro off, flash rapid, optimize mode. Let's, uh, let's see our airplane in action. All right, so the little blue flag is our, is our motor. There's our throttle. Helions, elevator, and the rudder. And then we have all our flight modes. Here's one thing that uh, I've noticed, and we'll talk about more later on, is it has takeoff assistance. Right now, all the trims are zeroed out. There's no dual rates set up or anything. Watch when I give it throttle. See if you guys notice something. You guys see the elevator going up? That's their takeoff assistance. The more throttle you give it, the higher the airplane will climb. Because if you pull back on the elevator to make the airplane go up, the elevator goes up. If you start giving it throttle, watch the flag, watch my thumb. You know, we'll call that no throttle, you know, like 25, you know, 35, 40, getting close to 50. That's around 50. Stick is in the middle here. And you know, it's like 60. The elevator went up. Full throttle, elevator went up. So that's their that's their takeoff uh, assistance. There's a way around that. We won't uh, get into it in this video. So I hope that answers a lot of people's questions from the previous video. And this is a breeze to set up. If you follow the directions by starting with your transmitter and seeing the uh, channel assignment using those exact settings in your receiver, plug the receiver into the reflex. The reflex runs the airplane. And like I just mentioned, guys, if you have a spectrum transmitter that you've already invested in, you know, DX6 or what have you, you can buy these little receivers for next to nothing. You can find them new on eBay still for 10 bucks. I've seen five for 50 before and even less. You know, if you're going to use FMS products that come with the, the reflex, then you don't need a high dollar receiver. So, okay. Hey, subscribe if you haven't. Click like, tell your friends, share all that good stuff. And uh, that's the best way to support what I do, guys. I would really appreciate that. Okay. Hey. Until next time, you'll see something cool. Adios, guys. Happy flying.